Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Friday. Yay. I'm Dr. Robin. This is Russ. We're the founders here at Whole Food Muscle and authors of the book, How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way. Today I wanted to make a special point of saying thank you to all of you who are members of the Whole Food Muscle Club. Your being members and taking that action towards your health allows us to do these lives every day. So thank you so much. Thank you indeed. We appreciate that very much. Um, on Fridays, we do our little week in review where we give you um, a quick overview of the things that we talked about. If you want to see the actual videos that we did on these subjects, go back into the timeline and look at them for the last week. They will be up until the weekend and then uh, we take them down and they become exclusive content to, for our members. So make sure if you want to see them that you go check them out before the end of the weekend. Uh, on Monday, we talked about coffee. There's um, a lot going on about coffee, and the reason that it came up for me is I saw something that said that coffee is the number one source of antioxidants in the Yay. American diet. Oh, wait, no. Uh, the funny thing about that is, is it doesn't say, it's not saying so much about how good coffee is for you, but how bad the standard American diet is. Right. So um, coffee, uh, the short answer about coffee is that there are some positives and there are some negatives. If you want the positives without the negatives, drink tea instead. Right. If you want to drink coffee, drink it black and without cream or sugar, because cream or sugar obviously adds more negatives. And I'm with you. I only like my coffee sweet and white. And so <laughs> I have um, basically stopped drinking coffee yeah. for that reason. I do like wine black. He drinks his black, so it doesn't matter. Um, but Dr. Greger says up to 23 ounces uh, a day of black coffee is probably yeah. fine. Um, obviously, it is addictive. It has a lot of um, you know properties to it that aren't great for you. Mm -hmm. One thing I did learn that I thought was interesting is that coffee doesn't stimulate, it suppresses your ability to relax. And that's something I talked about um, in some detail uh, on Monday when we talked about it. Um, on Tuesday, we talked about fasting for weight loss. And because uh, Dr. Greger just recently came out with some things about fasting because he has his new book coming out, How Not to Diet. Yeah. And he talks about fasting, like long-term fasts, like two weeks and 30 days and whatever. And interestingly, and, and um, I've read like two blogs and three, and three videos I saw about that. Good morning, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Um, and he never gets into intermittent fasting. I mean, unless you, At unless least you, not yet. Yeah, unless, so from what I can tell, and I'll have to wait till the book comes out, I guess. But, um, and we definitely, you know, we agree with him in that long-term fasting is not a good diet plan. Mm -hmm. um, fasting is something you should use for health benefits. Um, and that includes intermittent fasting and long-term fasting. Right. And uh, long-term fasting is used by Dr. McDougal, just to name mm -hmm. a few, mm -hmm. or one. <laughs> one. Um, yeah, but he does like a 10-day fast, and it's for people that are walking in that are type 2 diabetic and are about to have their feet amputated. Right. Like he's trying to save the whole body, not just get rid of the diabetes. So right. if you are looking at something like that, just make sure, good morning, Jennifer, just make sure that... I was waiting until you got done to say oh, good morning to Jennifer. Just make sure <laughs> that uh, you do it under a doctor's care. Yes, long-term fast, definitely under a doctor's care. Um, and we don't intermittent fast for weight loss. Obviously, neither one of mm -hmm. us are in need, in need of losing weight anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, we were when we started first on this journey, um, but uh, we aren't now. We fast now for our health. Right. So, and we do do intermittent fasting. We do fasting. intermittent fasting, um, about 18 to 24 hours twice a week, and then we usually get about 14 hours overnight every Yeah, on a regular basis. Yeah. Every night, because just the way our schedule works out. So mm -hmm. that was on Tuesday. If you want more details about fasting, uh, check out the, the um, what is it we do? Video. I can, <laughs> I can talk. We do those things. The video that we did on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we talked about avoiding muscle loss. And this is avoiding muscle loss um, on a couple of different levels. We talked about it as you age. Um, and if you're bodybuilding and trying to lose weight for a show, turn the water off because it's going to make noise here shortly. Um, and if you're just generally losing weight, you're going to want to allude, avoid losing uh, muscle weight. Now, if you are losing weight, you're going to lose muscle well, mass. That's just part of it. Yeah. The question is, to avoid as much as much as possible, limit it as much as possible. Right, and to keep in mind, if you are overweight, especially if you're extremely overweight, you have more muscle mass than you would need as you lose weight down because you're all that extra that muscle mass is to is to support the extra weight that you're carrying. So obviously, it makes sense that if you're losing weight, you don't need as much muscle. Yep, absolutely. So um, that's definitely something. Uh, if you're interested in, in muscle muscle weight in muscle, just kind of what muscle does. You want to watch that because there are definitely things we talked about calcium and we talked about animal protein and how they cause your uh, muscles mm -hmm. to to go away if you're not careful. 
Um, and then yesterday, we actually did a pretty live, a pretty long live. It was a pretty live too. I can't talk today, you guys. We did a pretty long live. Hey, Deborah. Good, good morning. morning, Deborah. Talking about the blood work that I got done uh, this this year. I went in on Halloween, which is a funny day to go to the doctor's office because they were all dressed in costumes, <laughs> um, and did my you know regular yearly check in. And I talked about my, my thyroid condition and my blood work and my cholesterol and my protein levels. And I gave you a whole bunch of details um, about my blood work and, and kind of where my blood work is. And, um, and it's interesting. So you should really go back and watch that one. Yeah. Um, and get that. And good morning, Vicki. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like why I was just cut in there. You just cut in right in the middle of your sentence. <laughs> um, yeah. So it would be worth going back and looking. That one's definitely worth Because she also watching. talked about that she does have a, a thyroid condition. So. Mm -hmm. It allows people that have that. And there's a lot of people. We, we have a lot of people who watch us who have thyroid conditions yeah. or have had thyroid cancer and have their thyroids removed. Mm -hmm. um, and I talk about how my thyroid, if they medicate me to the point that my thyroid numbers are normal, I feel miserable. Which is what, under four? Under right? four. Yeah. Under four. It, unmedicated, my TSH has been as high as 295. Right. So uh, I've gotten calls from doctors panicking about, oh my God, you should be in a coma and how mm -hmm. come you don't weigh 400 pounds and you should be dead? She and, says, because I'm a zombie and it doesn't affect me. I'm like, no, it's not, relax. And so um, I talked pretty extensively about that uh, yesterday. So if you're interested in my blood work, how it came back, where I stand, kind of what I'm doing with it, um, my inflammation markers, all the things that I, I yeah. kind of pulled out the, piss, be, the bits and pieces of my blood work. The highlights. I thought that you might find interesting. Right. So I talked about those yesterday. And I'll be going in for blood work as soon as I can get my... He called this doctor three times yesterday and could not get a hold of anybody. Right. So it's a sad, sad it state is. of affairs. Um, but I also today, since uh, we're here and we're not running too, too long, I wanted to give you a quick update on my rowing because... If you watch us regularly, you know that about three weeks ago, I decided to try rowing for cardio exercise. Never rowed before on a, on a row machine. Or so, you know, rowing. Mm. The uh, erg, the erg as, as people in the, in the industry call it. Um, and it's actually going really well. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm hoping it's going to give me a tighter core. That's kind of why I decided to try rowing. Um, I definitely recommend if you want to row, go and watch some videos about how to do it because the way you think you should do it, like the way that comes naturally, doesn't actually work and isn't super effective. Right. And it's not the right way to do it. Right, and it's actually bad for your back. So go and you know just Google beginner rowing videos or go to YouTube and say beginner rowing and you'll get some videos and they show you how to do it. I did and so I'm, I feel like I kind of sort of know what I'm doing and I've managed to figure out how to get a good workout from it. Um, something interesting that has started happening, this is new since you know it's only three weeks, but my forearms seem to be getting more defined. And I'm like, I don't really want defined forearms. That's also, not really my going, goal. I'm Popeye, Popeye the Sailor here. Man. But um, I, I did row on, let's see, what day did I row? Thursday? No, yesterday. Wednesday. Wednesday. I did short just a little oh, bit okay. yesterday. On um, Wednesday, I rowed uh, 6,000 meters. Uh, in 2,000 meter intervals, and I ch looked, I, I didn't think about it when I was doing it, but that's three and three quarters of a mile, miles, three miles, three quarters, yeah, anyway, just show I have four miles, which is pretty impressive, I was pretty impressed with myself that I was able to row that far, so I definitely recommend if you're you know, interested in looking for a, cardi a cardio uh, workout that's different, Try the rowing machine. Just watch a couple of uh, videos before you get started, so that you kind of have a clue as to how to do it. Because you have to, the way you have to think about what you're trying to do, which is you know pull the oars through the water and pick them out of the water. And you, so you kind of have to go in this clockwise manner. And it seems like people tend to want to go counterclockwise when mm -hmm. they do it. So you have to kind of make yourself do it the right way. But right. I'm really enjoying rowing. Um, I've you know doing I've done a little bit of it pretty much every day. You gonna drink my water? He's drinking my water. <laughs> And without a cough, those are my two options. Can't have that. Can't have that. So uh, we are headed up to Russ's mom's today. I made uh, easy Italian last night to bring with us. So we have a lot of food in the house. The recipe is on our website. The recipe is available to members on the website. It's also in the book. So if you have the book, it's in there as well. Um, I don't know what I'm going to cook for you this weekend yet. I haven't figured it out, but I will at some point, either on Saturday or Sunday, pop on here live and I will cook, make something for you. By the way, when she says pop on here live, it's in the Whole Food Muscle oh, group. in the Whole Food Muscle group. Right, so it won't yes. be on the Our Journey page. Not on the Our Journey page. If you're not a member of the Whole Food Muscle group, go and join that. 
Um, it's uh, facebook.com slash groups slash Whole Food Muscle, or you can just search Whole Food Muscle. And last week's cooking show is still up there. For now. For now. It'll no. come down this weekend. So, the yeah. barley, broccoli, and beans is a recipe I made for you last week. That video is still there. Mm -hmm. So um, go check that out, and I will be back at some point this weekend, and I'll make something. I don't know what it'll be, but I will. I promise I'll make you something. There you go, then. Anything else you want to say to them? I think that's it. All right. We need to eat breakfast so we can get on the road. That's right. So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you. Um, I'll see you over the weekend. Russ will see you on Monday. Monday.